the first super rare or super rare gloves that have been on Fit to Box channel. These are a collaboration with Dope, the Super Air X Dope collaboration. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach here at Telford Amateur Boxing Club. Today I have got a pair of boxing gloves by Super Rare. These are the Super Rare X Dope. These are an older model, so you won't be able to get hold of these anymore actually from the shop. Uh, but I managed to get hold of this pair and I was really pleased that I was able to. Haven't tried Super Rare before, so it's nice to see what they're doing. As I say, you've got that collaboration with Dope, black, orange, and then you've got the camouflage with that rays of the Dope there on the rear of the fist then you've got super rare at the back there and then you've got uh, new york city at the bottom and then as i come round, you can see that camouflage there and you've also got as i open it up you can see on there you have got the um upside down uh, you have got super rare x dope on there as well so as you can see they're really great looking gloves as I bring it round for you, you've got that front embroidery, you've got the raised dope on the rear fist. These are made of buffalo leather, and I'm going to have a real good look round. I'm going to rate and rank these gloves. These gloves made in Pakistan. I know that Super Air, they actually do some made in Italy gloves now, uh, which hopefully I'll be able to get up on the, to the channel soon. The, these were $139.99 US dollars plus shipping. Uh, so that was about £102 plus shipping. As I say, they're not available anymore, being an older model. Let's have a look at them then. So you've got there a really firm knuckle, okay? It needs breaking in, definitely. Uh, there's an IMF foam in there, but as I say, that is really quite firm to start off with. These have got softer as I have used them. Um, one thing I will say is on, on that one, you can, you can just pick it out. There's like one little bump there just underneath. And then on this one, there is more, unfortunately, where you've got sort of that acne type uh, effect over the rear of the gloves. So that's a little bit disappointing. Obviously, that's underneath the leather. As we come round, you can see the thumb. On the thumb there, you've got that split thumb. You've got a leather attachment, okay? And you've also got on that thumb on the inside, you have got six holes in there as well. As I bring it round, you've got that wrist. On the wrist, you've got, there's the strap with that camouflage and the other side of that, of course, there. And that provides a nice secure wrist for you the face of the glove open up the face of the glove for you. you can see it's got those air holes there four air holes it's in a pretty fixed hand position i am starting to loosen it off because i've used it on the bags quite a lot now but first very fixed now a little bit less fixed but certainly not the opening the fast opening that i like on gloves you've got of course you've got that uh, embroidery there as well and then you've got as well you've got the elastic to stop the gape when it comes to the stitching uh, there's a few loose threads uh, but apart from that the stitching is of good standard around there just show you all around that glove and the other glove as I say when it comes to 
loose threads I can just see see one on there just about there again yeah you can see that but the rest of the glove totally well made the lining is a nice soft lining I really do like that soft satiny lining on these So when it comes to these, I have weighed them. I weighed them at home, I haven't got the scales here, but they did come out at 15.4 for the left glove and 15.9 for the right glove. So these are a little underweight for a 16 ounce Velcro glove. Let's have a look at the comfort. As I say, they are a fixed glove. So they're fixed in that position there. Uh, finger pad is okay at the rear of the first finger knuckle and where the fingernails are uh, it is a little lumpy um, I'm trying to open my hand there that is better than they were when I first had them but again that's not sort of the open easy open that you can get on say a fly or a winning glove it's a bit more of an effort on the fingers to do that and of course I do like to catch shots so that would be a problem for me in sparring as I go there the thumb is nicely tucked in there as I have been using them it's good knuckle protection but um, you know that softness is going to take a good few rounds to get them as soft as I would like now when it comes to the bag I prefer these on the bag to sparring for that very reason not enough ability to catch the shots Let's try the left glove on, uh, the same with the left glove, I find that the thumbs are comfortable, there's no pressure at the front of the thumbs, um, this thumb here, my thumbs actually right at the end, they are wedged at the end of the thumbs, but they're not that uncomfortable, they're okay, uh, you've got the inside, you can see that there, and then again, a bit lumpy at the rear of the first finger knuckle and the finger nails finger pad is fine is comfortable again both difficult to open that hand up for me too much of a fixed position <laughs> Let's get up on screen the Fitterbox ratings card. So these gloves are going to go into the Fitterbox middleweight Velcro division for gloves between 101 English pounds to 200 English pounds or 121 US dollars to 250 US dollars. I've gone style 96, okay? I think that the style on these is really good. That's a high score. Comfort 91, that fixed position, that could be better. Durability 94, I do think that they are a well-made glove, especially I do like that lining. Sparring 89, again, not, not the best of scores for sparring. That opening of the hands is vital for me, and these are a little hard when it comes to sparring. You wouldn't want to spar with these straight away. Um, you wouldn't be doing your sparring partner any favours. 
Bag, 94. Preferred them on the bag. Value for money, 95. So they were originally 102 English pounds, 139.99 US dollars. As I say, they're not available. This is an older version. It's a, it's a nice sort of collector's item now. So overall, uh, so you've got the company which is USA. These gloves are actually made in Pakistan. And the score that they've come out with is 93 Point one. That is good rating on the fit to box uh, actual scale, but no fit to box stars. Let's just show you there. I do think that this is a great collab with Super Rare and Dope. Um, I do think that these particular gloves are a little bit style over substance. They are well priced when they came out for what you are getting. 93.1 good gloves, no fit to box stars. I think they just need to match the style uh, with the usability. So for me, these are a decent fashion glove. They're stylish and they're at a decent price. I hope to get hold of uh, some more of Super Air's gear. I do like what I'm seeing when I look on their website. There look some really lovely gloves that are available and they do these collaborations with different companies and again, just to mix it up. And I think that is good and I welcome that. So there is my first glove from Super Air on the channel. Great to get them on the channel. Hopefully I'll get some more on for you as well. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.